to get your toy box. Do you mind? Can I get it? So we got an email from um, one of our friends who likes to watch the videos uh, named Christian. And he is in the process of adopting a bulldog. Yay! <laughs> oh, Peggy. Um, so he asked me if I could show some of um, Peggy's favorite toys. Well, his toy box. I'm just pulling it out. Peggy actually preempted the video by taking out one of his toys already. Um, so here's his toy box. And firstly, I've taken the balls out because if you know anything about Peggy, you know that he is obsessed with balls. And as soon as he sees one, it's game over. Piggy? Oi! Excuse me, we're filming. We're filming! Okay, so the first one is this one that he pulled out, which he actually got this one from um, Ari from The Dogs With Me. And it's actually really cool because you put a bottle inside and then you Velcro it up. So, <laughs> wow, okay. As you'll see in this video, Piggy loves his toys. So, um, you guys saw, I keep his toy box in the corner. He knows exactly where it is, so he can come and take toys out as and when he pleases. Let's see what he's going to pull out next. This is a, the snake. You guys have seen us playing with the snake a lot. The snake is great for playing tug. What did you grab? One of your Kongs, hey. Um, the snake is really great for, grab, uh, for playing tug, as I said. You can see where we have played little too much tug don't you think you kind of killed sammy snake didn't you um this is great if you're feeling lazy chris you give him you give bailey one end you hold on to the end but you sit or you stand in one spot so that's great um the kong that he pulled out is this one here which is actually a treat dispensing one but he's not so smart at that and every time i've put treats in there it hasn't worked he's actually he thinks it's a ball which is why he's going for it Dinosaur. <laughs> this dinosaur has um, a lot of shame attached to it. Uh, see our intro, and <laughs> just if you if you're not following the joke. Um, when we first got this dinosaur, we got this from Pets at Home. It really needs a wash. Um, this is one of the first toys we actually bought him. We we got it before we actually got Lincoln um, for him. But like the day that we found out that we had been approved, we got that dinosaur. Um, it took him quite a while to warm up to it. He wouldn't play with it in the beginning. I think because it's kind of like hard. It's not very soft. Um, but what I've found with toys is what you do is you go and you're like, oh, this is so nice. You see, he's getting jealous. So he wants to play with it. So we'll throw that over there. Can you move out the way? No one can see. Let's see what's in here. Okay, the ring donut. This is a great toy. <laughs> you love this, don't you? Go get it. That's wonderful for throwing um, and playing fetch. It's also pretty indestructible. Keep in mind that Lincoln has very underdeveloped teeth. So maybe what's indestructible for him is um, easily breakable by somebody else. This is a Kong teddy bear that he got from his good friend Buddy, Buddy the Pug. This is great because like inside the, um, the arms and stuff, it's like has knots and rope and what have you. Also, I would say pretty indestructible. We tend not to go for toys that squeak. This one does, I think. Um, just because if he can't hear it, we shouldn't hear it either, we think. Uh, little Biko. <laughs> Biko is very worse for wear. Biko has had the stuff and pulled out of him, as you can see. You like Biko? Um... Another Kong bone. Kong bones are great. So what I'll sometimes do with this is uh, put some peanut butter on. We get the actual peanut butter that is for dogs, so it's got a low um, sodium content. And then he will sit and he'll lick this. But he doesn't understand um, mm -hmm. treats inside these holes. So those don't work too well for us. Okay, the next one I'm going to pull out is this rope on a ball thing. He has never played with it. This just takes up space in his toy box. He does not like that at all. Okay, next one. We got this little Kong frog. This is a frog, right? 
yeah, it's a frog. This one's also great for playing um, tug. You don't feel like playing, do you? You just want to chew. Is everything a chewing game right now? Uh, another little rope toy. Hardly ever plays with it. Prove me wrong. Go on. He, a couple of times, not very often does he play with that. This one here is actually a freeze it um, bone. So basically what you do is you take like a bone broth or something and you put it in this bone and then you freeze it. And so when they chew it, I guess bits come out. Um, we had some success with that, but he wasn't too interested in it either. Little silly alien one. He does play with this from time to time. Um, another Kong toy. This one's also a treat dispenser, as you can see in the bottom. Um, as mentioned before, treat dispensers don't really work for Lincoln. He doesn't, he can't figure them out. So um, yeah, he doesn't really play with this unless I go like that and he decides he needs to catch it. See, <laughs> that's how we play with that toy. <laughs> um, and then the last one that's in here, oh, it's so dirty, Piggy, is this little stick, which he does play with it. Um, it's a great one for getting them to carry while we're on walks because it's nice and light. Um, so it's not like too much on his, on his jaw. And then, oh, can you let me up? Well, we've, we've just thrown toys everywhere. He's like, woohoo. Um, from his balls. Okay, you guys, this is going to look vile, but it's actually really clean. This is um, his large chuck it ball, which is a great ball. He loves this one. I promise he loves it. Um, and then he's got his big soft soccer ball. <laughs> wow, you, you're not playing ball with this video, are you? Pardon the pun. And then this one is great, the small chucker ball, and I've actually just washed it, because um, this one really has some bounce to it. Finally, we get a reaction out of you. Um, not down here is his grubber ball, which is always in timeout, as I said before. Um, and of course, any bottles. He loves to chew on plastic bottles, but, um, yeah, those are all his toys. I think I can't think of any other ones. Um, one thing I will say about Lincoln with his toys is he doesn't really like to play with them on his own. <laughs> so he won't very often sit and entertain himself. One of us needs to be like interacting with him or the toy to keep his interest. Um, yeah, he's chewing his ball now because it, it got washed and it's been in the drying rack for a couple of days. Um, but if I were to leave the room, I think he would just forget mm. about the ball completely. So my advice would be, don't buy a ton of um, toys before you get your bulldog. Like maybe get, get like one or two and then see what her personality is like. Um, if we had known Lincoln a bit better when we first got him, we would have got him a variety of balls. <laughs> You know, and maybe a couple of the cons, but nothing. I probably wouldn't have got a lot of the rope toys. Um, even the snake, it took a long time for him to decide that he actually wanted to play with it. Oh, and of course, it, there's his treat mat. Let me grab it. Hang on a second. Where is it? That's this one here. Um, where you put, <laughs> you put like peanut butter or coconut oil or something in it. And then he'll lick out of that. He does know what that one's for. Oh, shame. That's me. Um, just to show you quickly while we're here. Here's his peanut butter. So this is all healthy. So there's no added sugar. And it's salt free. So, um, yeah. This stuff is great. And he loves it. Do you want to... Oh, see? And do you want to show everyone how much you love it? Oh. How lucky is he that he gets to just lick peanut butter out of a jar? I wish I could just do that. I love peanut butter. Is that nice, my baby? It may look like I'm giving him a lot, but he actually doesn't get very much off with his tongue. And also it's pretty low down. This is mainly used actually for giving medication. I found that this is the best way of doing it because if I wrapped it in meat or anything like that, he would find the medication and... Um, push that out and then just eat the meat. Whereas if I wrap it in peanut butter, he's like, yeah, sure. 
I'll take it. So I think what I'm going to do, because he's so into this right now, is I'll put some on his mat with some um, coconut oil. Not too much, just a little bit, because someone's going to try to lose some weight, huh? And then, um, yeah, he can enjoy his little treat mat. The only thing I don't like about this is usually at the end, I end up like digging stuff out and feeding him that. So, yeah. If you have any other questions, let me know. Uh, we'll do one on all his grooming stuff in a couple of days, but that was it for his toy edition. Um, for Christmas, so far, we have got him a proper B-A-L-L, -L, a big sucker one, and a couple of small ones. So I'm very tempted to just buy him like hundreds and hundreds of balls for Christmas because balls are his thing. He just loves them, so yeah. So Henry and I are like the worst people when it comes to <laughs> presents and we had bought each other Christmas presents and well mine just arrived <laughs> and um, I couldn't wait to open it and try it so Henry's getting his and then we thought well then Piggy should get one of his. Piggy what's this? Piggy what's this? <laughs> so it's a Kong tennis ball and hopefully it'll last long. <gasps> Oh. Wow, Piggy! Piggy! Oh, that was... Oh no, it's squeaky! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it was just because I um, stepped on the scale so it sounded worse than it actually was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise they squeaked. Do you think it's too small? Or is it okay? I think we should watch him with it, for sure. Because it's a bit smaller than... It is quite small, hey? Whoa! Piggy, don't swallow it, my baby. So it came in a pack of three, actually. So there's two more upstairs. <laughs> he likes it. He loves it. <laughs> Can I take it and throw it, please? <laughs> you love your toys, don't you? And Chris, I was mentioning the um, grubber ball earlier. So that's the grubber ball over there that he loves so much. <gasps> Mama's got your ball. Let's see if it bounces well. <laughs> he likes chewing it, doesn't he? He does. Is that fun, my boy? Was it quite squishy? It was like it's like a tennis ball, I guess. Wow, the sound. I wonder if there's a way of like <laughs> puncturing it or something so it doesn't have to squeak. No. You can't puncture that. No jumping, no jumping. Oh, wow, good catch, little boy. Yeah, let's show everyone my Christmas present. Oh. Oh. It's a um, flashlight. Yeah, but this is a really good one. <laughs> it's not even December. and <laughs> It's the 30th of November today, and we're opening Christmas presents. We're terrible. <laughs> Merry Christmas, babe. <laughs> Merry Christmas, little piggy wings. <laughs> there is more for you, don't worry. We didn't just get you one tennis ball. But look at him, he's like, this is the best present ever. Is that a good present, my boy? Hey? <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go and try out my. Um... Oh no! <laughs> my keyboard and um we're gonna join a, we're gonna form a band now hey yeah um <laughs> henry's gonna play guitar i'm gonna play keyboards and piggy's gonna play the squeaky ball <laughs> hey thanks so much for watching everyone have a great day piggy say bye good catch yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's sit. Let's sit. Let's high five, Mama.
We didn't think this through because now we can't play with our presents. We have to play with Piggy's present. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>